Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I am here today at my sister's house. Um, I had an impromptu sleepover because our lovely friend Tabitha's in town. Say hi, Tabitha. Hi, Tabitha. That's her. So yesterday we had a trip to Mac and she learned all about makeup. But we'll get to that on another video. Today I'm going to do this look for you. And it is with my sister's uh, assemblage mineralized eyeshadow. I don't know what they're calling these quads I guess um, as y'all know I didn't buy this but my sister did and I'm at her house and I have no makeup so there you go so let's get started on my face I have this uh, you rebel uh, tinted moisturizer all this stuff is my sister's by the way um, and I also have oh this is mine uh, studio or no select moisture cover in NW25 I have Dallas on the cheeks for a little contour action going and on my actual cheeks on the apples of my cheeks I have this Smashbox Fusion Dust Soft Lights thingamajig it's very pretty and then I just primed both my eyes with my darling where are you there you are soft ochre paint pot which I made because I love it so much okay time to do our eyes what so matches this one First, I'm going to take a normal shader brush and some Fix Plus, and I'm going to do a drop of Fix Plus on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to dip my brush in it so that it gets wet. Then we're going to go into this um, gold color right there, and we're going to place that all over the lid, and we're also fan it up a little um, into the highlight area. I could open my mirror. Okie dokes. So everyone's been hating on these mineralized eyeshadows, but I'm a fan of mineralized eyeshadows, so I like it. Alright. Bring it up a little bit. So now we're looking like that. Next we are going to take a blending brush. This is the MAC 224. And we're going to go into this, um, I don't know what color this is. I would call that like a dark taupe color. It's kind of gray actually. Put that on the brush and then we're going to go into our crease with that. The only thing I don't like about this quad is the colors kind of don't make sense together, but that's just me. So then we are going to rub this in, windshield wiper motions as always. Until we're looking like that. Next we're going to take a little pencil brush. This is just like a Image Essentials one, but if you have a 219, use that or whatever. That's going to go into this sparkly black color. Which I think is a fun color. I think this whole thing is worth it for that color. And then this is just going to go on the outer V and into the crease a little bit. Like so. And now we're going to go back with the 224 and blend it out. Like so. Next we're going to take a big old freaking brow brush. And we're going to go into this icy white color. And then you're just going to tap it a little bit because this color is pretty intense. And then you're going to put that on the brow bone so another problem with this quad is that there's no like flat colors but that's kind of just always the case with mineral eyeshadows um so if you don't really like like frosty highlight this might not be for you but you could always get another color from somewhere else you don't have to use them all there you have it Next, we are going to take, let's hope this is it, Teddy Eichel, 
It's just like a nice metallic -y chocolate brown. And we're going to line our upper lash line. And I'm just going to do the upper lash line today, but you could do your waterline and all that jazz if you'd like. Now we're looking like that. I think we're even, right? I'm blind, so I can't tell. Next, we are going to use this mascara, which is the L'Oreal Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara, and it's the one with the two steps. And I guess it's supposed to, like, these white ones are supposed to prime your lashes and also, like, uh, extend them. Um, I just used it for the first time on this other eye, and I don't like that. I don't really feel like it extends and it kind of clumps them a little, and I think you could get a better result with other mascaras that don't have two steps. So this is a veto in my book. And then you go back over it with the black side. There you go. I don't know, y'all tell me. I don't like it. Oh, and then I forgot, you're going to take this little baby brush and then go into that um, highlight color and then just do your inner, inner tear duct with it. Get that pop and you look cute. And there you have it for the eyes. Pretty simple, easy. On, oh, I already told you what's on my cheeks. On my lips, I have Whirl, which is just kind of this, like, dark color. Kind of mauve-ish, but, like, more neutral. And then I put Queen Bee on top of it. So there you have it, y'all. So, yeah, my uh, opinion on these is I like them, but I'm a fan of mineral eyeshadows. I think if you're never bought any of the mineral eyeshadows before, you won't like these because they do take a little bit more work, um, but you could wear a subtler version of any color with this. You just would skip the Fix Plus step, but I still think they're good because you get like a whole look in one little thing, and then you could just throw this in your bag and go. So there you have it. The, I don't even know what this is called, assemblage look for you. Hope you guys are having a lovely day, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, and enter my contest because it's your last day, bitches. Love you. Bye.